What's going on guys? My name's Dan, uh, Tokyo Ghost. For those of you who have been around the channel before or who play video games with me, um, it is what it is. Uh, I am horrible at doing vlogs. But anyways, today we're gonna do, we're gonna start the first vlog for the Scotty build log. Um, Scotty is going to be the computer that I'm gonna build next. Uh, it's gonna be liquid cooled. Um, for those of you who don't know, Scotty is the Norse goddess of winter uh, in skiing, which is odd. Um, uh, so that's what we're going with. We chose I chose that name specifically because of uh, the connection to winter and the liquid cool and wanting it to be cold. Uh, I'm going to go over the liquid cooling parts today. Uh, that's all we're going to do uh, for this vlog. Uh, it's also going to help me figure out how I'm going to do the next couple of vlogs. The shitty thing is that my camera that I'm using to shoot all my b-roll only takes 20 minutes so I don't know how it only records for 20 minutes so I don't know how I'm going to do it when it comes down to actually build and then uh, when I do my somewhat tutorial of putting my water cooling block onto the GPU uh, itself so we're going to see how that works as the time goes uh, but today we're just going to go ahead and start and we're going to run through all the different things um, that's going to that's going to consist of the custom loop itself so we're going to go over the pump res combo we're going to go over the cpu block the gpu block um and then you know a couple of little odds and ends that i got for the the loop to kind of make it look a little bit unique uh well not necessarily unique but to add a little bit of things to it uh so we'll go ahead and jump right into it uh the first thing is the pump res combo uh it is the x res 140 uh, from ek it holds uh, about 200 milliliters. Uh, I have no idea what that means, how much that consists of, but it does. Uh, it's got three inports, uh, one on either side and then one on the top, uh, and it's got one out port uh, next to it, and that is so that liquid only goes out of one, uh, and you can either have it come in from the top or come in from either of the two sides. Uh, we're going to bring it in from the opposite side of the outtake. Uh, so, and then uh, a couple reasons why I chose it. Uh, it was chosen due to it being an all-in-one. Uh, it's a lot easier to have your pump sit right on top of your reservoir, or your reservoir sitting right on top of your pump. That way you don't have to worry about having another, you know, uh, excuse me, you don't have to worry about having another pipe like flow through to your, your pump to get it, to get it done. <coughs> also, I have a cold, so don't mind me. So moving on, um, to the CPU block. Uh, the CPU block is a Supreme, oh sorry, it's a Supremacy Evo. Uh, it is nickel plated copper on the bottom. It's got one in, one out, as you can see through the, the B-roll here. Um, it was chosen because it has a clear top, uh, and because of that you'll be able to see the liquid in there that's, uh, that's going through it. And since the way that the cases sit and the way that uh, motherboards sit inside the case, you'll be able to see you know, the liquid that's flowing in there. And I think it'd be a lot cooler to have that than just a solid black block or a solid nickel block on the top of that. Uh, moving on from the CPU block is the GPU block. And the GPU block is a FC 1080 GTX TF6, which sounds like a lot uh, to say, and it, it probably is. Um, but all that is fancy for is it will fit on top of my um, GTX 1070 MSI card and it'll look pretty good while it's sitting there. Um, it is nickel plated copper again. Um, it's got an in and out which is that little black rectangle that you see there and then um, it comes from either direction so if you get this block you just have to make sure that you get plugs to go with it that way you can have it come up and it's not going to shoot out all over the place. Um, make sure you plug the those holes in as well otherwise you're going to mess it up. Uh, you can mess up your loop and computer pretty bad. Uh, again, the main reason why I chose it, chose this block specifically, is one, it was recommended by EK because when you build the the custom loop configurator, it'll it'll help pick out what card you have and what blocks they go for each card. Um, and then I got the clear top one again, just so that you can kind of see the liquid. Even though that the way that the the graphics cards are going to sit in there, we're probably not going to see it. Uh, if I ever do get a side mounted case or side mount anything, uh, having that uh, video card side mounted with the liquids in it that you can see would be pretty neat as well. Uh, up next is the GPU backplate. Uh, it's the FC1080 GTX F6 
backplate. It's the only difference between the uh, the the GPU block and the backplate is that it's a backplate. It's the only difference in the naming, uh, which is great. Um, it's black, uh, and then it's got MSI engraved in the side, right by the little EK uh, emblem as well. And then uh, I just chose it because it looks better than the original one that comes on there. And it's a solid piece of plastic. There's no holes in it or anything like that. So if, for hopefully there won't be, but if there is a leak coming from the CPU, that uh, that leak won't affect the GPU because it'll all be sitting there on top of that that solid piece of plastic. Or, well, it actually feels like a solid piece of metal. Uh, some people say that the back plates offer cooling, but it doesn't. I uh, was watching a video the other day and uh, from Linus, uh, one of the Linus Media Group videos, and they said, you know, the same thing. They can add all the things you want on there, but it really doesn't do anything. Um, it just is just there for show. And that's really why I got it as well. Uh, so moving on, next is going to be the radi uh, it's the radiator, the radiator, and it's an SC three sixty, uh, Evo or uh, no, just SC three sixty. I'm sorry, uh, and all that means is that it's slim and it's three hundred and sixty. It'll hold three hundred and twenty millimeter fans, uh, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and it was chosen mainly because it's uh, slim, and the way that it's going to be mounted in the the case is going to be up front, and hopefully I can get the pump the radiator and the fans all kind of crammed into the same spot so that's why I went with the slim version to kind of give myself a little bit more space um, and the general rule of thumb here with water cooling is that you want to have at least 120 millimeter fan per component that you're cooling so we're doing a GPU and a CPU so technically we'd only need the two what's that 220 or whatever that one is uh, but instead we went with the 360 just to have a little bit extra headroom there um, and then as far as other parts are concerned, uh, you know, we have the P, I went with P, T, P, E, T, G, I cannot say that, P, E, T, G tubing, um, and that's mainly because it's stronger than the acrylic, and then, um, it's easier to bend, um, it's just more sturdier than acrylic, so if you're gonna do hard tubing in your pumps, go with P, E, T, G, just because it's better all around, um, uh, and then, uh, I also got a, some soft tubing to, uh, for my drain port, I'm gonna have a little piece of soft tubing coming off of uh, a little setup that I'm gonna have. That way I can easily drain the loop without having to worry about getting water all over the place. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I have fittings for both. <coughs> Excuse me, fittings for both uh, hard and soft tubing throughout the whole case. Uh, and then I have a little ball valve drain port uh, or valve ball valve thing it's just a little piece of metal that sits like this with a little drain on top you can open it and close it just got to remember to make sure that it's closed when I'm filling up my loop otherwise water is gonna go everywhere and that's not gonna be fantastic uh, the other thing that, um, that hasn't actually come yet are fans I got fans from EK water block or EK water block from EK cooling solutions as well um, I think they're the the Varder fives. Um, I only got four of them because I'm trying to have as many as minimal amount of fans in the case as I can, uh, and hopefully hide those fans so that you can only really see one, which will be the exhaust port. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today's um, video log. Uh, again, hopefully next week I should have the next video up, uh, and next week we'll be going through the individual components of the computer itself. Uh, they're supposed to get here sometime this week, so hopefully I can get all the B-roll shot before the weekend, put it all together, and then get another video out. And hopefully it'll look a lot better than this one does, or at least I will perform a lot better than this video. Uh, but yeah, so like and subscribe, stay tuned, see you guys next week.